Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna do a full face of e.l.f. I have their new Good Vibes Only collection and their new lipstick, which is said to be a dupe for NARS, but you know, it's not gonna cost you the same amount. We're gonna be on a budget. We're gonna come up with a fabulous look. I feel like before I show you a few things, I just need to get this on my lips ASAP. This collection's really cute. This is the Good Vibes Only. This is the Shroom Lip Balm. My lips need it. If it looks like I already have a little lipstick on, it's because I have been going through a lip swatch-a-thon. I was putting on lip stains, I was playing with different lip liners, and I just, now that I'm sitting here, I'm like, please send help, you know? Oh, that is lightly scented. What a fat, wide balm, too, my goodness. Okay. Aww. Oh, I'm annoying myself already. Welcome to the fun. If you are new here, I'm Tati. I love to review makeup of all prices. I don't care what it is. I just wanna figure out if it's good and if it works. I do wear tests, all of that. Subscribe, ring the bell, join the family a fun exploration of makeup and makeup tips. So I'm gonna just set this down. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> if you know, you know. I will link this in my Amazon storefront because I am a person who does not understand that you might want to link more expensive items to earn more than four cents of commission, but I don't really care. I just want to share with you guys like little hacks that actually do the trick. And in every single video you see me put on either Laneige or in this case, we're testing e.l.f. obviously. And I just, I don't press hard. That's the thing. You don't want to over exfoliate where your lips are like, blah, and they like start to kind of chap up and try to accelerate healing. And you can have this almost like rebound effect if you're overly using a lip scrub. This has changed my life. Okay, so first things first, we are gonna prime, but I thought I would do one side, one side. I already know I love this Power Grip Primer. Say that five times fast. Oh my gosh, it's like freaking glue. <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh my goodness. I look like a baby dolphin. <laughs> what am I wiping on me? Is that expired or normal or what? Sticky. So we're gonna first Elmer glue our face. It's like the primer before you'd paint a room. You know what I'm saying? You gotta spackle that on there and it's gonna just attract like a magnet, the foundation and keep it in place all day long. That did not feel right, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go into the Power Grip with 4% niacinamide. I love niacinamide, who doesn't? And I'm gonna take a pump. Yep, we are, this is, gluey. It's like honey. Dude, I'm like going like uh, to like get it. Maybe if I tap it. I do like this primer though. I just for some reason haven't used it in a minute and I don't remember it being this sticky. Did I just get a facelift or what? Hoo wee I'm going to give that a second to kind of sink in. I bet you thought I was drinking caffeine. You would be wrong, I'm just in a good mood. Okay, so we are now going to take a peek at this. Oh, this is a velvet primer. I thought this was, what is this in here? Dimethicone, dimethicone, and other things I cannot pronounce. I just wanna feel this. Oh gosh, okay, well, a bunch of like oil just kind of blown its way out of there. I don't know that I like that. Oh my God. Gosh, that's fragrance. Woo wee! I am mm, actually very glad that I didn't put that on my face. It doesn't smell bad. What's interesting is it smells actually like legit, like ch -ch -ch fragrance. It doesn't smell like fresh skincare, like cucumbery or like vanilla y. It just literally smells like a, like a new smash hit fragrance from Gucci or Dior. It's like, ch -ch -ch, like that's what it is. It's rich. It's not summery. I don't know. We're moving on. I do want to use a teeny tiny bit of the putty primer. Please don't judge me. I understand. I am a two primer kind of a girl. I always want these pores to be erased. Now, I used to have very acne prone skin, oily skin, and your pore size kind of is your pore size for life. You can do things to make it appear smaller, but we're not actually shrinking our pores. So for me, I always use a pore filling primer. Does it really help? In my head, it does. Now, this is also another 
another highly commissionable item for me from Amazon. I, I gotta get with the program. These are not very expensive. And to be honest, the quality is so, so. You guys know I love, obviously, my Blendiful. Now this texture, I just wanna show you up close because a lot of people are like, oh, you could get on Amazon for exactly the same. Um, no, this is like straight velvety. This has a different texture entirely. The Blendiful texture, I wanted it to be this way because I used it wet and dry. I would not use this wet. Tati Beauty doesn't exist anymore and I'm about to run out of Blendifuls. I'm gonna have to venture into this land because I really, really need a puff to do my makeup. There's just no way around it. It's how I do my makeup. It kind of sucks that I will always prefer, of course, the one that I developed, but I'm gonna start trying them out. I'm gonna just like bulk order a ton and try to figure it out. So I'm gonna actually use this. As I say, I'm not gonna use it in wet product. I'm just gonna lightly stamp it in this putty primer and get it around the nose. This is a great way to really stamp a pore filling primer into your lines and into the face. I'm actually using pretty significant pressure when I'm doing that. So I'm literally like pressing, pressing, pressing. You'll see a little bit of redness as I'm doing this, it will calm down and it just really smooths everything out. We've seen these before, but I wanted this to be a full face e.l.f. Be right back. I'm going to apply the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, the camo CC cream, and the e.l.f. putty bronzer, blend it all together, and then I'll come back to try a little bit of the Halo Glow setting powder. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I am going to mix a little bit of this Halo Glow liquid filter in with the foundation. I think it might loosen it up a little bit because this puppy right here is beautiful, but it's a little bit thick. And this, I don't wanna smear all over the face. It's a little too dark for me. Oh my gosh, it is super difficult to find this product anywhere. So I literally saw it and I didn't even care that it was a little too dark for me. I'm like, I'm getting it. I will make it work. I wanna try it. Just to kind of like see what the fuss is because everybody's been like, this is a straight up on the money dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I have the shade medium tan. This might be a big old mistake, but let's just play. Hmm. I've got my Scott Barnes glass palette just to keep it classy. And we're gonna take a couple pumps of this. Oh my gosh, I bought this foundation in summertime. We This might get really weird really quickly, but mm, three, two, one, jumping off that deep end. Yo, just doing concealer in this way literally makes I super love how this melted right into that foundation, thinned it out. I have an extremely dewy finish, so I do wanna take that down quite a bit. I'm actually gonna go with the residual primer that's on here and just tap over the areas that I really don't want to be a light bulb, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and mist the face before going in with powder. So I'm just going to bam, 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 use whatever setting that you like. I didn't have one from e.l.f. This is Charlotte Tilbury. I know way more expensive than all of this that I'm trying out, but there are plenty of drugstore options for great 
setting mists. I will add some to my Amazon favorites. I'm bulk organizing everything over there. So favorites from the drugstore, favorites that are more luxury. I'm thinking about breaking it apart just because so many of you guys do DM me and I can't get to everybody of what I would recommend from every price point, like what my all time favorites are. So this looks really, really pretty. I love it, I'm into it. And what I wanna do now is take a little bit of the light Halo Glow setting powder. Now this says it is a blurring finish. I don't know if I should try to bake with this. Part of me wants to. Ever since I started baking with the Givenchy, which is fully thanks to TikTok, it has made me want to try baking with different powders. So I'm going to take a little bit of this in the lid. <sighs> don't sneeze. Oh my gosh. That is finely milled. Whew. Okay. We're going to take a fresh puff. Go in here. Set underneath the eyes. And hold your breath. Yo, I like it already. So long as this wipes off clean, that's pretty good. Wow, wow, wow. You gotta be kidding me. This is really like no jokes. This is nice. I'm gonna go up higher. I wanna lighten this area here. Whew, okay, we're gonna let that set for a moment in time. I will try to link these for you guys as well. I wear the same jewelry over and over and over. Much of what you see me wear is Kendra Scott, Kendra Scott, Kendra Scott, Kendra Scott, from the husband, from the husband, from the husband. Um, More like fine jewelry. My skin turns green in 2.2. Like I'm so finicky with jewelry, it's insane. And while that's setting and doing its thing, I'm gonna go in with a little Honey Bee Gardens fantasy lip liner. This is a vegan, gluten-free, gorgeous, formula like honestly I got this in a health food store in Florida over the summer one of my all-time like all-time favorite favorite lip liners and they do sell this on Amazon it's like 10 bucks and it is perfection so I didn't have an elf lip liner and I wanted something that I could pair with the different lipsticks because I want to try a few of them on isn't that nice? That's just like a pretty, fresh, rosy, gorgeous color. Now they have another one I wanna say is like Island something. I really love these formulas. So now while I look absolutely bananas, let's go in to this O-Face Satin Lipstick. I think I wanna try the shade Effortless. And the name of these, um, gosh, the names are a little perverted. Um, not too bad. This one's called Dirty Talk. I don't understand when companies have to name things like these raunch names because it's like oh that looks like a really beautiful lipstick i'd like to you know i, I want to try that or like i want to try that blush and it's like what one's that and it's like deep throat and you're like oh this is really aggressive um i don't know how i feel about that and working for nordstrom for so many years so many years ago it still sticks with me of like little grannies coming up and like asking for all these like really crazy named cosmetic products. And it's like, why? Like, is it necessary? Like sometimes it's a little too, it's a little too far. Don't come for me. This is my opinion, how I feel. I'm sticking with how I'm feeling about that. I don't know about the name of this line. I just wanted to try it. Okay. And it smells like MAC lipstick. So we have a NARS dupe that smells like a MAC lipstick. This one is way more purple toned, like mauve toned than I thought. I thought this was gonna be a little bit more berry toned. I don't know how I'm liking that. I'm not liking it. Um, we're gonna go into Dirty Talk. Okay, let's blot this off. Definitely a long wearing formula that stains because that is already staining my lip. I'm gonna go in now. Dirty <laughs> Talk. Okay. That's more my speed, for sure. You're seeing these ads everywhere, right? Okay, what is the hype on this? Long lasting. It is rich and satiny. Nourishing with marula oil, love that. Squalene, love that. Jojoba, 
So this is a comfortable long wear formula. The bullet is very luxurious. It's magnetic. It does go on like a high end lipstick. I think this is really beautiful. It's super nice, super comfortable. And I will report back to you guys how it wears. I am gonna put in a swatch on my arm of all the different shades that I purchased so you guys can check them out. Let's sweep off this bake and get to the eyes. All right, so a survey says, I don't know if that powder actually is the right type of powder to bake with as it is wanting to grip to the skin a little bit, but it's not crinkly, it doesn't look bad. I am gonna bronze up the face ever so slightly because man, this is dark. This is the only thing I have that is in the bronzing category from e.l.f., so we're just gonna kinda go with it and see what happens. This is the Camo Bronze, this is 425N. I'm liking my makeup quite a bit, this is really nice. Okay, now I have always wanted to play with these. They are so inexpensive. You get a little highlight on one side that corresponds with a blush on the other. I have two shades right here. I have white peach and cantaloupe. Just try to not break it. Ah, I don't know why I first want to go into the yellow. I just want to like see how this, I don't know why. I just want to see it. This might be like the worst thing ever. Is it going to enhance my complexion? I'm thinking I should do this instead. Okay, we're gonna use the highlight in here. And if you decide to do makeup on one side, you have to do it on both. It's just the makeup law. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into Bora Bora because she cannot figure out what kind of a color theme she's going for. I have all of this beautiful makeup laid out and I kind of like get in this headspace where I'm like, I wanna try it all. I'm gonna dab in here ever so slightly go off the back of my hand a little bit. This is a putty blush. The texture's kind of tripping me out a little bit because it's quite firm. Okay, now let's see. Okay, I get it. I love that. Wow, 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 wow. What is that new thing that, where is that coming from? I have no idea who, I must have heard someone do that and now I'm making this weird like Muppet noise. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit to make it more monochromatic. Sometimes I like to do this. It kind of pulls all that color together and it has such a pretty effect. I really, really like it, try it out. It does just that extra little special something where you're like, what is that? Like, why does that look so good? And it just in the brain looks very cohesive and nice. So there we have that. I love this actually. Like I'm loving the lip, I'm loving the skin. Elf is just a whole different thing at the drugstore. They do such a good job. Now we're gonna go into this highlight and just do a little of this. Ooh, that was a little much. Just got a little aggressive with it, it's okay. Is it just me or is like the skin looking extra good? I just recently tested out old luxury favorites. I will link that below. And individually, a lot of those items I love, but together, some of it made a mess. And I am just like, my mind is like, Shh, because my skin looks so nice today. And I'm like, dang, I don't think there's an item here that is over 10 bucks, which is great, right? This is great news. I have not tried this puppy out. I got this actually for a dupes video that I have in mind coming up. So stay tuned for that. I really just wanna use this now. This is infused with aloe. This is the Brow Lift in clear. And I'm gonna go in, it's very clear, with a spoolie and kind of jam it in the spoolie. And I'm gonna drag the brow hairs this way. I saw someone doing this recently on TikTok. And I was like, that makes sense to me. So I'm gonna try it out also I want to get my brows laminated. Who has done this? Explain to me, do you love it? Do you hate it? Now that I've seen a few people like actually have the procedure done with like they like do the glue and then it's the brow ha hairs are up. I am intrigued. Is this like really unhealthy or like why? What's the fuss with it? Please someone tell me because my brows don't exist. And if there's anything that could make them like so I wake up in the morning and they look a little bit better, Sign me up, 
sign me up, I will film it. So we're gonna go in now with this handy dandy little, uh, this is in neutral brown. This is the Bite Size Brow Palette BRB. I'm gonna fill in my brows. working oh my gosh this i think is better than the anastasia one i said what i said um yeah i like it i like it i like it okay moving right along i have this brush set this is the good vibes only eyeshadow brush set let's crack into this hmm this crease brush looks like maybe so-so. All right, I have two of these eyeshadow quads. I have the eyeshadow quad in Psychedelic Dreams. We also have Hey Sunshine. These are both from the new Good Vibes Only collection. <laughs> I have it stuck in my head. Think good things, brain think thoughts, think good thoughts. If you know, you know, that's all I think of when I'm making decisions like what should my eye look be? We're gonna attempt to do more of a smoky edge situation. I'm gonna take this dark brown on an angled brush. That is powdery. We are a little powdery, it's okay. And I'm gonna go. Ooh, this is out of my comfort zone, but let's just do it. I probably would have done better to tape and do this first, but we are where we are. Okay, looking a little crazy. I'm gonna soften that edge. Soften this edge. And I can about 80% assure you that once I have lashes on, it'll look great. Now I'm gonna stamp that outer edge only, keeping it pretty low. Taking the excess and slowly moving up. This is nice. Like I gotta, I gotta say, this is a nice matte brown. It's like rich espresso. It's not patchy. It's letting me line. It's letting me blend. All right, I'm like living my Lana Del Rey fantasy right now. And I'm gonna go in with a clean brush. I am first gonna go in circular motions and just blend edges. And now I'm gonna go in to the shade next door, laying that. Pat, 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 halfway on the lid. Pat, pat, pat. Then you'll see what I'm doing. Pat, 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 and then I'm taking the brush up and only getting that color up here, not in here. So that's how you're gonna shape your eye. Do I wanna go there? Do I wanna go there? there? There, ooh, what do I do? I'm just gonna be basic. You know what, I will swatch these for you, but I am gonna be a basic, not that this is the most basic, but I'm just gonna pop this shimmery shade right here on the inner half of the lid. Taking a smaller brush, going back in, and I'm gonna hit underneath the high point of the brow. I quite like this. I'm going to be doing this Lash Beats Defining and Lengthening Mascara. I mean, give a good curl. I am gonna miss the face. I know I'm using two setting sprays that are not at the drugstore, but they are my like absolute everyday faves right now. This Peach and Lily Glass Skin, and I'm gonna dry it off. Okay, I felt like being a dangerous woman and just like, come on, we're, we're in this video, let's just try it, why not? I immediately regret that, um, but it's okay. I'm gonna put this, this highlight on top. 
Okay. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of No Budge Cream Shadow. This is also an espresso shade, and I'm just going to conceal the lash band. I'm ever teeny tiny, ever so slightly gonna go back in to this shade right here and maneuver that on the lower lash line just to frame the eye just a little, little bit. I am incredibly shocked by the finished result. I like almost absolutely everything. And the fact that this is dominantly with exception of a $10 lip liner and some setting mists, all e.l.f. products that are not just under 10 bucks, but just a couple of bucks for some of them. So this turned out to be really good. And I am kind of like jaw on the floor because I bought all this myself and it is competing with some of my higher end stuff, cause I'm back, you know, my hand is back in that too. I mean, this is incredibly luxurious, glamorous skin. Just the whole thing has that sheen to it and smoothness and everything I love. The lashes are Ardell. I will list those below. They're the 421s, just like that perfect wisp. And if you can see how that wing initially, especially for my eye shape, where I have a bone that kind of juts out right here and my eye shape is literally like, like, are we hooded? Are we not? We don't know. Um, so when I do a wing initially, it looks crazy, but then if I get a full lash on, like especially a wispy, it just meets up with that outer edge and can look really soft and beautiful and not too jarring. So overall, I love everything. I will list everything used in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Go have a good one and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.